Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get a really cool scrolling parallax effect on WordPress without needing any plugin and without adding any CSS code. So as you see on my example, when I'm scrolling this page, you will see that the sky is moving with the content while the mountain on the foreground stays in the same position. This is essentially parallax effect and I think it looks a lot cooler than just a static image. So if you want to get this effect, let me show you how. Before we start, I think it is imperative for you to know the basic of it. So a parallax effect involves two pictures. In my example, I have a picture of the sky and also a picture of the mountain. So if I'm scrolling like this, you will see that the sky is moving while the mountain is in the same position. And you might also notice that the background is just a regular image, but the foreground is transparent, at least part of it is transparent. So the background can be seen. You can use any software like Photoshop, GIMP, or even Canva like I'm using here to remove part of the image and make it transparent. There are a lot of AI tools out there as well, and you can use it to modify your image. Now you understand the basic of it. I think we are ready into the tutorial. So. Let's dive in. All right, now I'm in the Gutenberg editor. The first thing you need to do is to add a block called cover. Just place the cursor anywhere where you want to place this effect and then start typing slash cover. Click on the cover and then you can select a picture from your WordPress library or you can upload from your computer. In this example, I'm going to use the background picture of sky that I have prepared for this tutorial. All right, now the background is here. We need to make it larger. I'm going to click on the cover and then click this button to toggle the full height. And I will also edit this full width. Now I'm going to go to block styles and remove the overlay opacity. This is not necessary because we want to make sure the background is fully seen. All right, that's better. The next thing we need to do is actually removing the padding from this cover. By default, there is a little bit of padding on the surrounding the cover. We are going to make sure it is zero. To do that, just click on this point and then go to the right and then back to the left. Notice that the padding at the top and the bottom is now removed. You can also repeat the same process for the left and right padding. This will ensure that the foreground is fully seen. There will be no little gap surrounding the foreground. With that ready, I think we can insert the next picture, which is the foreground. Click here and then type cover and select the picture that you want to set as the foreground. I'm going to select the picture of this mountain. All right, as usual, I'm going to make it larger. Click on the cover, full width and full height as well. Okay, now go to block styles and remove the overlay, set it to zero. And now we are ready to make this foreground parallax. Go back to settings and then under media settings, enable fixed background. All right, I think that looks great. And when I'm scrolling, you can tell that the sky is moving while the mountain stays in the same position. You can also add some text on top of it. I'm going to write something here. Okay, make it bolder and I'm going to increase the size. Okay, I think the basic is pretty much ready. Now, if you want to move this whole thing into a different part of the page, it's going to be a little bit tricky. As you can see here, the function to moving up and moving down is not available, but you can still moving it to a different section of your page. Just go to the document preview or I mean document overview, and then you will see that there are two covers, the background and then the foreground. If you want to move the entirety, you must click on the background, the cover background. So it is essentially the parent blocks of the entire content. And then you can click and drag it somewhere else where you want to place the content. Let's say I'm going to move it here. Yeah, that's essentially how you move the 
and title blocks to a different place of your page. By the way, let's see what it's going to look like on the live page. All right, let's scroll down and see what it's going to look like. Okay, I think that looks perfect. Shout out to JB Marshland for giving me inspiration to make this video. If you want to make your website more attractive, consider subscribing to his channel. Speaking about attractive, check out this video where I teach you how to make a really attractive gradient color button on WordPress without any code and without any plugin. And I'll see you on that video.